Good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Trading for Success. Uh, we're with a group today that can all afford to trade um, <clears throat> AMD 500 shares if they've made their PDT of 25,000, which most here have over 30. And uh, so we'll be trading 500 shares of AMD today, trading the uh, RV strategy. Um, and this is a new layout I have here too, which I'll talk to you about briefly. Um, but please read this disclaimer. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. This channel is just strictly for entertainment purposes only with video demonstrations, tick tips and tricks and free scripts and free layouts and then just showing you strategies we're not selling any courses everything is free here we just appreciate you watching and subscribing so please read that this is what uh, this is really my new open um, strategy I'll, I'll probably be using this <coughs> although i use this for um for a for a tournament I was in recently, which is kind of cool. And I'm getting ready. I mean, there is a, the World Championship tournaments are coming up. So those are kind of fun. Um, so anyway, um, this is a one minute layout here. This is a scalpers indicator, which you can get on this channel for completely free. These are the buyers. These are the sellers. That bar is the volume. This is the entire sentiment that what's inside at any given moment. It's basically the closest thing you can see to being a professional reader of the level two. That's basically giving you the same information. <coughs> Excuse me right there. And then I just put this up recently because I'm because I was in that competition. I'm so used to reading this that I did this for many, many months. Both these custom scripts are my own and they're offered for free. And then if you want to adapt them for trading view or some of the others I've been asked for, the best thing to do is to go once you get it over to your uh, platform to go into the actual code and then copy it and put it in chat GBT and like you can switch it from think script to pine script. And I know a lot of people have done that. And I do, if you go through the comments, I have offered some of the scripts. And there was some of the old ones for think script, but I mean for pine script, but I think that's the best way to do it. So I'm going to head off that question <laughs> that comes every single time. Um, there's a lot of other custom scripts on here too that you might want to get and then on the channel check out episode 83 that has a lot so but let me go into since we're going to start trading in a few minutes oh this is a five minute chart this is a four hour chart down here this is a one hour this is a minimized five minute and a, a minimized daily and this is the active trader and this is i mean the level two and this is the active trader i took a short trade a small trade earlier so we're going to be trading in just a couple of minutes so first let's go over about how you set up this and why it looks like a spaghetti mess and why it's sort of important to have all these lines marked out. So I've opened up a day chart. This is also a custom script that you can get um, on, on our platform. It's a, a ATX with trends and alerts. It sounds like a phone when the trend changes. Um, but basically, you look at the um, day, the close of day, the day before, and you see the right of my picture, you, say, you can see C180.49, $180.49. That's what it closed at. And then you look down here at the ATR, see that number? Now watch when I go back over the candle at that number, and that number was $8.56. So you divide that in two, so you have $4.28, basically. You subtract that $4.28 from the close, and you get the ATR low in market. You add it from to the 428 to the close and you get the ATR high. That is your opening range of the range bound RV strategy. Now I highly recommend before you trade this strategy, first of all, trade it in a sim, practice for a long time before you go live, get the uh, day trading volume one, which is all about range bound uh, trading and different uh, tips and tricks in there. If you're brand new to trading, all kinds of things, but it literally lays out this strategy line by line and how to trade it and everything support and resistance the Fibonacci levels everything so I recommend you get that but I have tons of videos in the archives showing this since last March when we first started trading it we have two millionaires which is amazing uh, and then we have a whole bunch of people that are well over a hundred thousand and then we have uh, tons that are making thousands of dollars every week and hundred dollars every day I know some people are still struggling as with anything so it's best to practice in a simulator but to to help with that struggling too, I recommend that you learn how to read patterns. I'll be reading them today and I'll show you about them a little bit. I'm going to go in a little bit more about this strategy, but I wanted to get this out and then I'll be done with it. But five books, day trading series one through three, you should read if you want, if you're a beginner and even if you're not a beginner, okay? Then trading in the zone, which is going to help you learn how to cope with, uh, how to look at 
trading in a certain way where it's all probability and outcome and take a lot of the emotion out of it reading that book best loser wins who basically gives you a different sort of a anti-technical analysis sort of uh, of look at things where um you know how he wants you to let winners win and cut losers faster which is of course it, winners run longer before you just set a profit <clears throat> let them go until you see the sign to not let them go which is something i truly believe in and when you're scalping and you're doing fast in and out trades sometimes you just look at it like bank it and then get right back in it. I like the idea of banking and getting right back in it. So anyway, we start with this open range, right? So the strategies on this channel, RV strategy, two different types of open strategy, the escalator strategy, and then we're, I'll be putting out a new swing tr strategy, which I hope to actually uh, stream with in the mornings so you guys can see my picks and then we can talk about it. That's still a few months away. And then there's a new book that the Million Dollar Margin Club is going to be putting out in a few months too, which is going to be covering the open strategy. So follow along with that stuff. There's got to be something that fits the way you like to trade because everybody's got to come up with their own individual way to trade you can't copy somebody yeah you can you can learn by copying but eventually you just have to come up with your own way to trade i mean that's that's when you know you've kind of crossed the bridge to a successful trader when you just have your own specific strategy that's kind of wrapped around taking a little bit from all these different things you see on youtube all these different books but not trying to get online and following somebody trade by trade. And it just doesn't work, guys. It doesn't work. You need to come up with your own strategy. And I know you can do it. You will be able to do it because thousands of people have done it. <laughs> so you can you can be one of those people. So anyway, you start with this, this range. And then we're going to create uh, channels inside that range to help us trade. We do that a couple of different ways. We do that with Fibonacci levels, right? And then we do that with... Um, with channels support and resistance levels so you see here they say 4h 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 i'm on a daily chart now but i'm going to open up the four hour chart what these are, are pivot points this is where the stock turned around before on a four hour chart turned around pivoted whatever you might want to call it so what i've done is i've marked those wherever i could catch them you know i've within the atr sometimes out of it sometimes in it uh, marked as many as i could wherever the four hour candle turned around. So what is a four hour candle? That's a cum accumulation of one minute, two minute, three minute, five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, 90 minute, you know, two hour, uh, until you finally get to the four hour. All those combined where they averaged and turned around. So that's usually where people are buying or selling on average at that price level, enough to make the stock stop, hesitate, turn around. So why wouldn't you want to mark those? The all technical analysis is based on patterns. What is a pattern? Something that repeats. Repeat action. It's as simple as that. People that say, without getting into name calling, that, that, that support and resistance lines mean nothing, what that really means is they found a way to trade without them, which is great. That's great. But there's you know, thousands and thousands of people that want to trade with them and find it to be a huge advantage. So every strategy calls out for a different type of technical analysis, but everybody's using some sort of technical analysis. And it was proved, you know, long, way back in the 17th, 16th century with a Chinese rice farmer proved that there were patterns, you know, and then th th this whole system is devised on that. The whole candlestick thing is devised on that old rice farmer. So that long ago, people realized, but there's a pattern in everything, pattern in behaviors, pattern with, to, to suggest, I'm sorry, I just recently got into another sort of argument that patterns don't pattern. You can't trust a pattern. Well, you shouldn't you shouldn't rely on one. That's for sure. But it's good to know where they are. And then they give you an edge and then you trust them till they don't work and then don't trust them. Does that sound stupid? No, it's not. You have time to say, hey, this is there's a, there's a support and resistance line coming up. This stock looks like it's going to hit this hit this line. It might it might turn around. I'm going to wait and see. Oh, gosh, look, it did turn around. You know, so it just guys, that's what it is. It's all about that. But anyway, so what I that's what all these lines are. And on the but I'll be trading them on the one minute chart, right? Oops, and um, so I I will. They won't get too much in my way. So we'll be starting in about four minutes, guys. Let me just get this kind of in action here. So we did the fibs on the five minutes. Um, here's a five minute here. 
Um, you can see you do uh, high to low. That's probably under my picture. It's always left to right, wherever the high and lows are. So this is on the two-day, five-minute chart. This is on a 10-day, five-minute chart. Those give us other points where the stock turns around. Look at how it got respected there. See that? All right. So, you know, and see here, that's, that's a Fibonacci level, guys. So it's not random. These patterns work. I mean, they don't work all the time. Look how it came right through and hit, turned around, hit again, turned around. I mean, this is, this is good stuff. You want to mark this, you know, general area, if nothing else, like, hey, be wary. You know, these are worth, look at that. Well, I marked it on that one, but that's not really fair. But you can see how they just channel and turn around. Now, the two-day is showing you closer action, and then the 10-day back is showing you. But patterns repeat. Remember that. And then you want to learn candlestick patterns, which is a whole other thing, like what do they mean? Inverted hammer. You know, uh, I'll call them as I come across them here. Rickshaw man. What do those patterns actually mean when you are trading? That's in day trading volume uh, two series and three both of those cover patterns which now since there's so many new people trading via covid patterns don't aren't just for day charts anymore they're for any intraday chart now see this right here is a bearish tweezer so that that tells you this stock should go down based on this it is hitting a fibonacci support level though and then the nine, that's a nine moving average, that's a 20 moving average. So you have to take that into account that that Fibonacci might make it go the way, other way. But remember, you do have a, a pattern here that's saying that it could keep going down. So maybe one of those is going to win. You know, one of those is going to win. But they're both telling us something. They're both helping us decide on what to do. Now, you see here these lines moving around. This is my intraday set volume profile. There's a video that shows how to do that. There's a video on all these custom scripts, how to get these lay, how to set up these layouts, how to get a free perfect uh, one-minute layout. You, know, you can just get them all. It's all for free, guys. Just watch the videos. How to set up scanners so you don't have to buy a service. How to see which way the market's going to go every day. Uh, that one's not for sure, but just an idea of how to, how to do that, how to do your charts. So all this stuff is free. Just please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. So, guys, we're getting ready to go in here. We have about a minute and a half. It did break that because of the bear tweezer, but now it seems to hit the point of control right here. So it seems like it's going to – now, the point of control is where you might see some grinding. But I have to decide because I'll be calling the ball, which they call quarterbacking for everybody here today. And um, everybody ready to go. So it broke through it. Now it's using it as a, so this pattern, one out, the tweezer pattern, one out. But now you're having sort of a spinning top here is what they call that. Um, and then you have more support down here. So that's at 85, 86. So guys, we have just 30 seconds. I am looking to bank off and go long. I'm going to go ahead and go long there, guys. So I got in at 185.90. 185.90 long. Wow, it seems like I had a better position than that. That slipped a bit. And it's taking me down. So since I have 500 a share, I, I have basically $1,000 max loss per trade, 3000 for the day. So when you have higher levels like this. Now, I don't expect to hit that because that's a $2 movement. That's all the way down here if I called it wrong. So I don't want to get shaken out of a trade. So I set my max loss high. Uh, I can police my own. Most people here have, you know, $200. Um, I trade a different way where I like to get in position and then manage my bad position and bank whenever I can and move forward. Now, you see this volume profile is just amazing how when you set it for intraday, how you can see the previous price action really controls the, again, a pattern of previous price action. This has already happened but it's letting you know and all the other traders know as that as collectively as they see this they can as they all react to the same thing they can actually change the direction of the stock it used to be just the institutions that could change the direction of the stocks but now um what the heck is this here here is that just not wow this is just not i don't know what's going on here Wow, that's just messed up. Nope, that's not going to help me. 
Well, I hope that's going to straighten out. I missed that move because of that. I missed getting out of that stock because of that. That was dumb. Uh, the level two is messing me up. I thought this was I had a one in front of it. I wasn't even noticing. It looks like it's down here, so it's kind of messed up. Um, I'm going to reverse right there and bank that off of that, bank it and off of that. So I'm going short. I'm at 186.18 going short. Really disturbing. So I'm going to be looking at the market maker here. I think every once in a while I get these glitches and they're just very annoying. Just trying, trying to see if this is actually, this seems like this is actually that. Well, I'm going to be looking here anyway because level two on large caps doesn't, wow, doesn't do much good. Um, in fact, I'm not going to mess myself up with this crap. So I'm going to go just like that and look at this. So because it's not going to stop it, it's not going to turn it around. I'm going to keep looking at the ask and it's going to keep messing me up. So look at it broke through the 20. There's one, another uh, 20 moving average. Um, now it's coming down here to this four hour, which is 185.05. I've started to put all my prices over here, realizing that, you know, I wasn't doing that. Now, whenever I get to an ATR, this is the ATR high. So we're already above it. We're kind of in the escalator strategy now, guys. We do have the right ATR range to trade an RV stock, which is great. Uh, unlike NVIDIA, which is just wild at like 30 to $40. Um, all right, so I don't want to lose if it turns around this four hour. I'm going to, if it starts to break back through here, you're definitely going to see me reverse. All right, the ATR, I'm going to reverse either way. So that's 184.72. That's 95, 93, 90, 93, 90, 80. I'm going to take that. What did I get at 88? I don't want to miss it. So I'm going to reverse at that ATR. I'm going to reverse back again. Wow. So then I, I captured it because it looks like it's not done there. It's making a little rickshaw, man. Looking forward to get back down to the ATR again. Take another stab at it. Eighty-seven this time. A little closer to it. Now you'll see me reverse a lot and then manage my bad position. So it's going back up on me here now. So that's not what I wanted to see happen. So I'm gonna to have to go long again here for the I mean short again here in a second if this keeps happening. I'm gonna go short there. So I've got it at 8490. I'm going to turn around. I, I turn around at the ATR. I got to turn around at the ATR. So I do not think it's retraced off it. So it's going to bounce. This is a lot like the escalator strategy. So let's see if it bounces. If it breaks through it, then I'm going to go the other way. But I did manage to get over a, a thousand trading it that way. A lot of little, uh, well, okay, so is it really going to break it? A lot of little baby scalps here, guys. There is definitely some slippage. I'm going to take that. I'll take that and go long again. So I'm getting like 20, 30, whoa, I'll take that. 20, 30 dollar trades here. See me do these little scalps here. Now, it's not as easy as it really looks. There's a bit of an art to it. So I'm reading these reversal patterns, and it does look like it wants to go long. 
but AMD doesn't move a real lot here. Uh, Uh oh, I'm losing all my little baby scalps here. Nicer tune. Not bad up there. I'm seeing I was in the lead for a second, then I then I fell behind, so I'm kinda of watching the uh, the competition on me here, but this is just like not moving, it's just suddenly sitting here. Yeah, I'm in the wrong position on this, so I'm trying to uh this is too high to be where the action is. Wow, it's just skirting my max loss here. It's broken down through the uh, ATR there, so. Scalping indicators is a, a wash. Oh, that's it. I gotta, I gotta turn, I gotta take that hit. That's too bad, okay. So I'm at 184.40. <sighs> All right, I'll take a little bit back. I'll take that back. I'm short again. Am I going to regret that? Appears I am. Just took too quick a too quick a trade there. Wow, this is hard. It's just grinding here, right below the ATR. <sighs> Yeah, it's a, they were having a max loss for 300, so I, I decided to do that too, and now I'm, uh, now I'm here again. So, I said 2,000. I said, did I say 2,000? I said 1,000. Oh my God, really? You guys are killing me. I was over a thousand bucks. I have to get out. That's just not looking like a professional trader. <laughs> Five. 25, 18 long. Wow. So I'm going to try desperately to get back to a thousand. This is some really nothing to call pattern action here really i mean this this scalping indicator showed us it was going to go long i was just in the wrong position you know to uh, ride that that way take that Going off that four hour guys and trying to scalp back into this a little bit. Take that. Got the 85.32, 85.32 short. Man. I think I'm slipping 10 to 15 bucks, maybe even 20 bucks per trade. So catching it the wrong way on that. Let's hope it's going to turn around there. One thing is it just moves so slow that, you know, you know I'm not going to go negative because of a bad 
call, but it is painful. Oh, I'm seeing this come across, pulling it up. I just uh, not like it now. I'm in the wrong. Once again, I'm in the wrong. It is the problem with reversing that, you know, you're not just getting out and waiting. And with a stock like this, it's kind of counterintuitive to, to manage a bad position, especially when it slips so much. Um, Here we go. Do I get out now and just look my wounds or do I hold longer? I'm going to take that. I'll take that. What did I get that at? 85.39 this time short. Take ah, that was uh, long again. It's just hanging at that four hour. It's going to drop. I'm not liking it. I'm going to take that and go short again. Managed to get back over a thousand, barely. You guys, God, somebody's fifteen hundred. Good going, guys. Yeah, I kind of messed up on that. Uh... Whoa. Okay, that's a little stronger play down. Look at the action coming across in the volume profile. And then the point of control pulled down. So this, this is going to go down. And as you can see, the buyers dropped here a bit. Sellers came up down on the seller's indicator. You can see how the buyers dropping um, with the, the bars dropping. So it's like losing confidence going up. And at the same time, it pulled down this volume profile. A previous action, of course, but people are looking at that. So it kind of was swelling up. Hit this four hour three times. And then this is a respected... Uh, position now now it's not that's also a hanging man that's a hanging man this is a spinning top as it went up that's a reversal pattern that's a reversal pattern now but now it's not doing what i say is it going to actually break through there okay I mean, I could bank that, but I, I'm, it's it's coming to this point of control. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this a little longer. Those little trades got me back, but they also got me in trouble. So this is the RV strategy, guys, and uh, usually we're expecting a little bit bigger swings than this, but. Um, this kind of consolidation is hard to scalp, but there isn't a real lot of slippage here, which is great. Um, wow, I probably should have taken that when it was down there, huh? Oh, well, I really thought it was going to go down. So these are, that's a rickshaw man. That could be, um, if it was a trend, that could be a hammer. Uh, but if it was, that, okay, there we go. That would mean it's going to go down. I mean, it would turn around and go up, I mean, if it was that case. But there it goes. There we go. I'm going to turn around the ATR again, guys, like I always do. See if it pulls back. No, is it going to break it like solidly? It really wants to break it, doesn't it? Man, I better turn around. I got to turn around. Will it pull back and let me turn around? Oh, oh one more click down. I got to, I got to take a, a smaller loss. I'm going to take it five cents there. <laughs> now I could have got more money. Uh, is it going to bend? It looked like it was going to go through it again, and it did this before. I was looking at this going, it's just going to go right through. Ah, darn it. Okay, well. 
I got a little bit bigger cushion there anyway. It's not really letting me rest like normal on these uh, RV stocks. They're usually pretty easy to uh, call and rest a little bit. But now you look at the five minute, you know, you've got a, you've basically got a bear flag here. Uh, this is a bear flag. So this should go down. So on the bigger uh, pattern. So we're looking for this to go down a little bit more. What do we got down here? So this is 83.47. This was going to kick it back the other way where you see these arrows on the volume. There's the VWAP it just blew through. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, I just noticed that uh, bear flag over there on the five minutes. So that's a pretty strong. I think they're 82% accurate. Um, if you get that um, uh, day tra uh, the day trading series volume two. Yeah, I'll have links for all those things. Learning your pattern is key. They're really key to helping you become successful. Just one more thing in your toolbox. One more thing to help you go. I'm just going to go ahead and bank that. Stop that. No, don't do that. Pull back. I'm going to take a lesser loss. I don't like the look of that. Oh, now it goes up. Oh, God. So is this going to be the channel or is this going to be the channel? It looks like it wants to be the channel that I'm not in. So now it's a rickshaw man that would tell you that it's going to turn around long, but where? Here's 180. So the look at the even dollar and odd. Wow, look at the even and odd dollar amounts as well. Nice. Wow, I, don't, I could have captured that. What was that at? Glad I recovered from $600. Jeez. Give me another punch down there. Give me like a one. I'll take that. I'll take the 182. Try to try to manage this uh, 183.98. These are reversal patterns, guys. This should be turning around. Ah, oh, there's a fib right there. Oh man, I missed that one. Yeah, this this should turn it around. I think I'm I, I'm at my most pain right now, but I don't know. Nothing's for sure. So so inverted hammer means turn around. These arrows mean turn around. Fibonacci means turn around. All these things say turn around. So I'm going to try to ride this out, but if it blows down through here, then that means it's just going to keep going down. So now on a, a bear flag, you want the the length of the pole is what the move should be. It's a pretty much there, and, it, and it's getting this fib, double fibs here. These are double fibs in the bottom of the volume profile. Man, I'm telling you, turn around. You hear, hear my logic? Don't you listen to my logic? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it's going to blow through it, it looks like. Uh, I'll, I'll go for a lesser loss if it can get me back up there. Man, it's just hovering there. But the sellers are going down here. Strength's going down. Uh, buyers are going up. See the strength over here on the, on the scalpers indicator? This is a great indicator, by the way. You gotta, you gotta get it. It's free. Just grab it. I'm sorry, I'm just going to get out for a lesser loss. I believe it's going to go down again, but of course it'll probably prove me wrong and, and go up. Oh, there it goes. I've got it 8370, 183.70.
this is it's just riding this channel it's really hard to play these here e398 nope there it goes I missed it I'll take that and try to go back down with it 8375 short 8375 short I'll take that small little thirty dollars and I just don't quite wait long enough for these moves it appears I'm at 8370 yeah 18370 long oh boy should have waited just a little bit longer huh It's really, really hard to scalp this. This is just too tight. So that's a, what is that, a 51 cent channel. And you probably have a 20 cent slip. <laughs> so um, you gotta be absolutely perfect. That's why I was starting to take the 30 and $40 trades. <laughs> it just, just seems, the volume just seems to have just dropped here. And uh, just playing in beside the see this, a floor and ceiling, a floor and ceiling. So if you catch, if you catch it just right, it's going to work for you, you know. Let's get to the ceiling again, and I'll reverse and try to catch the floor. Okay, I'll try to catch that little trade, and then I'll try to catch the floor down here. What's it at? I'll take that little trade on the floor. Is that the floor? No, it's not really. 83.78, so the floor was another 20. I got that a little soon, and that's that's been the story here that I keep getting on the wrong side of this. Now it's right there against that 9-2, that moving average. Can it do any better? Can it break that for a change? That's a stronger bodied candle there. Now I am stair-stepping up barely here. I might get to 2,000 if I don't mess up. It was another scalp I could have caught. That's just. Uh... I'll take that. That's at the very. That was at the very top of it, wasn't it? Ninety-eight cents from the top. Now it's going to break it. See, this is what I, I thought might happen. It would. It would eventually break it. And I'd be in the wrong way. If you're going to play off the ceiling, you're going to end up being the wrong way. Go back down. Just a little tick down. I'll take a, I'll take a lesser loss. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about to go. Looks like it's about to go up to me. It's really pushing it to go up. I'm going to take that smaller loss there. So I'm at 183.88. What did I get that at? 184.17. I broke 2K. Oof. So I'm on a short. Hey, it's starting to. Starting to give me some movement here at 17. Nope. Okay. It looked like it was going to break back through the other channel, and I was above it. So, wow, it's going to it's making a new channel up here, guys. So there's our VWAP. I'm seeing this come across like it's going to pull it down. We'll see. And the ATR. I mean, if it broke the ATR, is probably my fail safe. <sighs> There it goes. Break down through that. That's a good one. Is it going to keep going? I don't want to get out too soon again like I keep doing. 
Whoa. You see that bump? That went straight down there. So that got me some money. Is it going to keep going down? <sighs> so it's 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 resting on the fib here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna count on that. If it breaks through, I gotta I gotta reverse. This is not. I mean, that is a reversal. That is a bearish um, doji right there. So that told me this was gonna happen, and uh, I wasn't watching. I was going for the going for the uh, channel trade ab above the pattern. <clears throat> I'm going to take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Did anything? Did I get anything there? I'm literally just writing <laughs> these things. I'm writing them so fast. I got to bank it and go back short. I, I want to go short, but I saw I could snatch a little green. I'll take that. Take that back. Wow. That was some risky trading right there. I've got such a big cushion, and this thing's barely moving. That I guess it isn't really that risky, but I'm not calling a position here. I'm just taking the money. So that's the difference in that type of trading there. Now, it is grinding at the point it can – well, and I ended up going – no, I'm going the right way. Okay. 183.56. Yeah, we're right at time. I'm right at time here. I'm going the wrong way at time. Uh, well, I broke two, and I'm on my way to three, but I'm getting exhausted. One of the things with this type of trading can really get you decision fatigue. Um, I don't know how many trades I've made. I've probably made a lot more than I normally make just by playing it so weird the way I'm playing this. I'm going to go long. Oh. No, I went short. Oh, I thought I was going long. Oh, my God. That's how confused I am. Now I'm going long, and I'm going to sell out when I get into a decent, anything green that's decent here. A little more. I'll take that. <sighs> hands a little a little tight i'm stopping there guys i'm just gonna <laughs> i'm gonna be happy with 2800 so yeah that was um everybody wanted to do this so hopefully everybody's done everybody's green which is great we did good hopefully this was entertaining for those watching uh, we will be trading probably mostly the open strategy for the coming videos but i'll be doing i'm probably going to do at least one big large share size um you know, uh, NVIDIA or something that's moving a little quicker than this, uh, maybe Meta or uh, probably Meta. Google's kind of slow too, Apple's slow, but one of the, we no longer have the Magnificent Seven because Tesla's dropped out. So we have the, what are they called now? They have a new name for the six. I don't know what they are, but all the mega caps, there it goes. It's the same game here. This is exhausting. It's going back and forth, but you are, it is, you know, it's not easy. It is possible, as you can see, it's possible to carve out, um, you know, a nice living doing this. Uh, you add that up, that's, you know, what is that, 15000 a week at least. Um, now, really what you want to more go for with a lower share size is a couple hundred dollars a day, you know, 1000 500 1000 1500 a week. Um and that's really what day trading for six. This is actually pulling it up. So these th this should go back up, but I don't know if that's what's going to happen. Um, anyway, guys, um, thanks for, for watching. I'm going to add something to my stay uh, green. I'm going to say stay curious and stay green and keep learning, learning, learning. And I will see you at the next video. Remember, trade in a sim. Be careful. All right. See you soon, guys.